Hey guys, how's it going? PJX here. Welcome back to a new series. Well, welcome to a new series, not welcome back. But in this one, this is a story time dominate or like dominate story time, mindplex dominate story time. I don't know what it'll be called, something like that. So <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to be talking about the time that I cut my knee with a freaking machete. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to be my story for today. So I was playing... Like, I was at my grandparents' house, and they have an old machete and a saw, and me and my cousin used to cut trees down all the time. Remember, this is Kentucky. We live in the middle of nowhere. There's, like, nothing but trees and forests for miles and miles and miles. And, um, yeah, we own a lot of property. Like, my family owns probably 100 acres of property altogether, and we get to, like, do whatever the hell they want to with it. So, <laughs> me and my cousin were up in the forest, and we cut trees all the time and stuff. We uh, like we made little trails and we cut trees and burned them on a little fire pit. I don't know. It was just fun and game as kids. Uh, by the way, I was like nine years old. Uh, note that I was like nine or ten years old. Maybe I was eleven, something like that. Uh, I think I was nine though. That 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 rings a bell. Nine. <laughs> but yeah, I was up on the hill just cutting trees like any other normal day, and my cousin uh, decided he wanted to try something different. His name is Tyler, by the way. So we went down to the garage. Uh, where my grandpa keeps his tools and stuff, and we found a freaking machete. So we got the machete, and we decided to freaking cut trees with that. You know how you can just, like, chip your way through a tree with a machete? I guess some of you might know what the hell I'm talking about, but, <clears throat> yeah, you can, like, you just, like, hack at the tree with a machete. You can chip at it till it falls, whatever the hell, just like a saw, except it's different. And we had been doing the same old things for, like, uh, I don't know, five years. I've been cutting trees down with him since I was two or three, I guess. <laughs> We've been playing up on those mountains. And, um... Yeah, we got the machete out of the freaking garage. We sharpened it on my grandpa's old grindstone thingy, and uh, that, that was kind of a mistake. That was a bad idea, dude. I shouldn't have done that. We didn't know what we were doing, though. I was nine, he was ten, and we had no idea what we were doing. We didn't know what we were in for. It was a, it was a bad thing. We were gonna, it was gonna be a bad day. Uh, uh, so we climbed up the mountain. It's like an incline that's almost ninety degrees. Like you know, ninety degrees is like that. Imagine like that and then curving upwards and we climbed up that uh we had this little there's like a you know those little cables that steady power poles you know like the the power thingies uh yeah they, they steady them into the ground well there's one of those so we grabbed it with our hands probably not the smartest thing to do like that that probably isn't very smart <laughs> we grabbed that with our hands and pull ourselves up so we found this giant pine tree like th these hills are freaking massive you couldn't walk through them all in a day like it's pretty damn big <clears throat> we like forged a bunch of trails and stuff with that saw which was safer I've already cut myself a couple times on the arm with that saw by this time I didn't really think about how that machete could hurt me <clears throat> but yeah it, it definitely could uh, so we went up there with the machete we found a giant pine tree at least this big around it was freaking huge and my cousin got like halfway through it and he gave me the machete and he's like here you try so I started chopping like straight a little bit angled and he's like hey Jake why don't you chop a little more angled you know like this so I did that and it worked fine for a few minutes so I was like chopping at an angle like this on the tree and then it slid off went down and hit my knee and I did not know how badly I was hurt at the time like I figured it was just a scratch you know I was nine years old I didn't know what was going on but I impelled my leg impelled my knee with that there was a hole in my pants from it and there was blood just spurting everywhere out of my freaking knee and I didn't know what to do I freaking panicked I just like I froze I couldn't feel anything I just walked down the hill like any normal person would my leg was a little bit sore for some reason I noticed it at that point my leg was a little sore and it probably shouldn't be so um I walked down the freaking hill and we got all the way back to the house and then I looked down and noticed that my leg was like gashed freaking open my knee I, I still have the scar i would show you but i'm way i'm sitting in a chair like i can't really do that normally i still have the scar though on my freaking knee it's like it's like that big around and it's like there you go like that kind of that's the shape of it but yeah it's pretty big uh i went down and i got on the steps there's these little there's these little steps that go onto the front porch of my grandpa's house and uh yeah we went up those and my mom was waiting for me on it and she saw blood and i think she just about fainted <laughs> or something <laughs> she went crazy and uh i thought i was dead at that point i opened I, 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 la, 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 la. I took my pants off and i looked and i just saw like i saw white down there i thought for sure i cut it to the bone i started screaming and crying remember i was nine again i didn't know how to handle this and i'd never had 
had a past uh, experience like that. I sprained my arm once. That's a story for another day, though. <laughs> That's a story for another day. If you guys like this story time, hit that like button. But uh, we're not done yet. I just want to tell you that if you are enjoying this, hit that like button and there'll be more. Because if I don't get a bunch of likes, yeah, we're not going to do it anymore. But, uh, yeah. Let's see now. Where was I? Oh, yeah. On the porch, my mom freaked out. I freaked out and was going crazy. We dialed the freaking number for Miss French is what we call her. She's a, uh, her name is Barbara. She's a doctor. She, she runs a clinic that's, like, really close to my house. And she, like, she only charges $10 to, for a full checkup and prescribing stuff. She's, like, a really nice person. She only charges 10 freaking dollars. That's crazy. And she's qualified to do any kind of checkup and stuff you need. She can even, she's even a midwife. She does everything for $10 of visit it's pretty freaking crazy she's amazing older lady she's almost 80 years old let's, but let's start getting off on the that's this conversation and uh i went to the freaking hospital finally we put uh like we put a giant bandage around it and put pressure on it and it kind of stopped bleeding before we got there and we got there and the word stitches was used and i started freaking the hell out i was back there screaming like a little girl trying to open the door because I, I didn't want to get stitches that didn't sound too good to me that didn't sound like a good situation you know what i would probably still do that today if that happened again i would totally bolt out of that fucking car and start running just away from this place no stitches please but yeah we got in the freaking doctor's office. We had to wait for like 10 minutes because some asshole was in there with a fucking cold. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm bleeding out over here. Oh, no, I'm in here. I have a cold. <laughs> oh, I'm so sick. Fuck you, you old bastard. Whoever the hell that was, I hope they uh, die and rot in hell because I totally could have bled out in the time it took that bastard. To get out of there with that cold, sniffly nose. But, uh, yeah, we finally went in. And Miss French, the doctor, I call her Miss French. That's, that's what everybody calls her around here. Remember, I live in Kentucky. Uh, different place. Strange. Things are cheap. Yeah. They don't cost what they do in the city. Like, rent. I rent my giant freaking store for $350 a month. That's, like, nothing in the city. You guys understand. But, um... Yeah, so I went in the freaking doctor's office, and she pulled out this giant freaking staple gun, and she pulled out a needle in the other hand. She's like, which do you want? I'm like, ah! <laughs> so, finally, after like three minutes, I chose the staples. It was like, oh boy, that's not good. <laughs> Now, I started looking on the bright side of this because I saw it as, hey, I'm going to get out of school for a long damn time, aren't I? Hmm, that's going to be good. I think I'm going to get out of school with this, aren't I? I can lay around and play video games all day, yeah. <laughs> so, I was like, yeah, give me the staples, and I, I, like, I like hugged my mom and started squeezing the hell out of her. <laughs> I think I almost killed her, and uh, she put four staples, or maybe it was five, I think it was four, in my freaking knee, and I looked down, and I screamed because it looked so awful, dude. It was like barely hanging together with the skin and it was like it was bad i will never ever use another machete again i've had a phobia of that ever since then but yeah the next day the next day i got a two-day excuse for that two days for cutting a gash in my knee all the way almost all the way to the bone like literally i was at, i was i was like half an inch away from the bone or less and it was like two-day excuse fucking what can i get a week no and we had a school play the next day so we were doing a Snow White in the in the Seven Dwarfs, is it? I don't know, whatever the hell it is. We were doing a play of that with my favorite teacher, and I was, like, really excited. And I did not really, I just, I didn't want to miss that, man. And we had another play right after that about religion, and I was supposed to be one of the three wise men. So, uh, we'll talk about that one. The first one didn't go so good, the dwarf one. I nearly ripped my freaking leg back open. And in and, and the Jesus one, the one about Jesus where I was the wise man, I had to kneel in front of Jesus. So, they had to give me a freaking chair that I put my knee in. And I still almost tore my knee open. Like, you know, one of those little stupid school chairs. And I was, I was always a really tall kid. So, I just like kneeled down and got on my knee in the chair and put my other foot on the ground. So, it would be straight. And it was like stretching my knee and I could feel it. I remember it being like a burning sensation. God, it was bad, dude. Uh, yeah, that was pretty damn bad. But I actually made it through the play and everything worked out perfectly. I didn't rip my knee open. And I think it took me about six weeks. To, wait, no, maybe it was two weeks. Ah, oh, damn, I don't remember. Between two and six weeks, I don't remember how many days it was exactly. It was either two or six weeks. I can't remember really. But we went back to the doctor. She took my stitches out. That hurt even worse than putting them in. Taking them out hurt worse than putting them in. God, I'm, I have the hiccups. But taking them out hurt worse than putting them in. It hurt worse than the initial actual fucking cut. It hurt so much to have this, the, the uh, staples taken out. She like grabbed them a little pair of tweezers and... Yeah! 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 
Oh God, it hurt. <laughs> I could like hear it creak. You know what that sound when a, the teacher drags her fingers on the chalkboard? <coughs> I could hear that sound coming from the coming from my freaking knee. It made that sound as it was coming out. I swear to God, I thought it was in the bone or something. It was like, oh no. And I could hear it coming out with that squeaking noise, and I could feel it boop, boop, yanking out of my freaking knee. Finally, it got out. I had to stay home for another two days after that to heal. And finally, about two or three weeks out of that, it healed completely, scarred over, and now it's just a giant red scar about this, about like this big around on my freaking knee. And yeah, that, that's the story of when I cut my knee with a machete. So if you enjoyed this and you want more stories, like and favorite this, and you can give me a story recommendation down below, like uh, when I met Christina, how did I meet Christina, all that stuff. Whatever the heck you want to hear, and this, it'll all be over top of Mindplex Dominate. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, like and favorite this video, subscribe to show your support to my channel. I only have eight or seven subscribers until 1,000 subs, so I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.